So today, I want to show you what's probably one of my favourite puzzles. This is my camel jug. Oh yes! Now, although in many ways the camel jug is like any other jug, I mean, for example, you can fill it up with water from a hole at the top, and then you can tip that liquid out the side using the spout, right? I mean, that's standard. It's not a very interesting jug. But in fact, the camel jug has a little bit of a secret. It's a little bit stranger. As well as the hole in the top, there's also a hole in the bottom. And if you wish, you can just as well fill the camel jug up from the hole in the bottom. And then all you do is you turn it round and you can pour the liquid out the spout again. So clearly there's something weird going on with this jug, right? I mean, you can fill up liquid into it from either the top or the bottom and it won't fall all the way through. And either time you can turn it round and just tip it out the spout. So really, it's a puzzle. I mean, what could be going on inside? What mechanism in the jug could make this possible? So the solution to this puzzle is really a picture, right? To solve it, you need to draw a picture of what, what is going on inside it. And one thing I will say, one clue I'll give you, is it's not that complicated. There's no mechanism that's like, you know, electronic, or there's no valves moving around. I mean, I actually got this as a present from my friend. You got it, I think, from Tunisia. And it's definitely something you could just make on a kiln or like with normal pottery techniques. It's, it's not that complicated. But the reason I think I love this puzzle most of all, aside from the fact it's just cool, is um, it reminds me of science. You see, this is the only jug I've got, the only camel jug I've got. I've tried to look for more, but I genuinely can't find any. So I really don't want to break this thing. I mean, the simplest way to solve it right, would be to smash it and have a look at what's going on inside. But I don't want to do that. So I'm basically restricted in trying to figure out what's happening to putting stuff in and seeing what comes out. And that's a lot like science. For example, if you're trying to understand how atoms behave, unfortunately, you can't just go down there and rip them up. So what we end up doing is things like throwing them at each other, trying to break them apart, chucking stuff at them and seeing what comes back. A lot like what, a lot like what people are trying to do at the uh, you know, CERN, at the Large Hadron Collider. So anyway, uh, I didn't really want to go on a massive rant about science, I just wanted to show you this because I think it's fun to try and solve it. I will put the solution uh, somewhere in the comments, which of course will be a picture, but um, you know, don't just look at the solution, actually try and solve it. Because if you're like one of those people that just looks at the solution, then um, you suck, so don't do that. Uh, well, there you go, there's the camel jug.